I'm Ina. And then Theo is gonna cut it short. Okay. And do you want something to change with the colors? Um, this is gonna be short. And uh, I want it to have blonde and uh, on the top dark. Okay, thank you very much. And will you turn for you in the rest of the world to show what you have now? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, as always, I start with protection. And today we're going to use the zebra cape. Just wet the hair a little bit, not too much, and start parting the upper hair because the sides will be short. Hair up on the scissor. Give myself first the baseline to work on. And the upper hair will be laying in a disconnect over the sides. There are a lot of regrets for longer hairstyles, so I'm working on it. Don't be afraid, it will come. But I have to find me the models for it. Hold my comb always in the direction of the eyebrow bone. And also the line is set out, it's the same line. Make sure the line stays ultra soft because I love soft hair, uh, hair lines. That's why I don't use combs on my clipper. Put the neckline up. So I come to the part where my guideline is. Put my clipper to the back and use it as a comb. Go further on the line, I set out from the side. This again I do with my scissor. It's a Kiona Cobalt 5.5. It's a nice ultra sharp scissor to work with. With a scissor over comb technique you can also cut ultra short. There are people that Tell always that why do, don't you do it with a clipper? Because when you can do it with a, a scissor of comb technique, the lines are more soft and more, more yeah more creative than you do it with a clipper. On the other lines, I want to keep ultra short and super soft, so that's why I use a clip a scissor of comb technique. It's also a good practice for your skills. Okay, now I work to the short side. First find me a connection on the center of the skull. That'll work out later. Check if the other hook ook can. Yeah, so I can, and then tease up. No plug.
connection to the side. I do with a clipper of comb technique. Work my line to the front. I part it upper hair from the side. Again, lift up, whip my scissor, catch it with the comb, and the comb is bringing the hairs in the position where I want to cut them. So put them right up. Wie is kan ook kort. Alles dan. <laughs> Alles dan. Dat wordt dan heel pijnlijk, want je moet je dan op de huid gaan plakken. Ja. <laughs> Shit, dat wil je niet meer maken, denk ik. Ja. Control my line with a clipper. But still using my comb as a guide. Okay, coming to the sides, she wants to have a line that goes up and around the nose bone coming out. So again, I use my cobalt Kiona scissor to work out this line. Therefore, you need a sharp scissor. And you see that this is a disconnect, and on the back. I work up the line till I connect to the back. And it's well creatief. <laughs> ja, het is wel creatief. Het is wel mooi om te doen. Wat kijk. bedoel jij dan? Nou, kijk, je hebt deze lijn die sluit tot hier aan. Ja. Dus tot hier zit je met deze lijn. Dan heb je deze lange lijn. Ja. Maar deze lange lijn die zou je dus vanaf hier de korte punt naar daar kunnen zetten, waardoor je een dubbele disconnect hebt. Dus dan heb je hier een langere lijn zitten. Van daar naar daar. En deze heb je van daar naar daar. En deze, ja. deze disconnect mm -hmm. is dan net zo lang als deze disconnect. Dan heb je twee disconnecten in één kapsel. Maar dan heb je hier wel een langere friemel. Ja. Vindt ze niks. Misschien maar niet. Nee. Oké. Okay. Okay. Coming to the side. And now I have to find me the way to connect this one to that one. So lay my comb another line. I cut it in a blunt line. Here I come to find me a connection again. Got the crown area in a freehand style. Just tipping off the parts that are setting out, breaking out, <laughs> just what you want. <laughs> Punch them. 
And when you make them shorter, they lay also the upper hair to the back, so they have a stabilization function. And what I do now is I'm going to color the sides ultra blonde, lay this aside so the hair and the upper hair will be dark, lay my carton wake on it and then color the other side. For coloring I made my bleach uh, for the Siebel bleach, 9% 30 volume. Bleach the sides, and because we're leaving the sides or the upper hair uh, in the natural colors, I'm going to part a small angle of her hair, natural hair on top, make a line to come at the other side above the eyebrow. This part is also called going to color, then lays on top of the longer hair. This part I cover up with a cotton wig, just lay it on top of the bleach. This way her natural colors can't reach the bleach. So it can work in straight lines. Come to the other side. The short under parts. They are also going to be bleached. This is the part of the disconnect. Prefer it up. With the cotton wick. Hold the hair aside with my comb. Make sure I create a straight line. So far the bleach, the rest on top will stay in the natural colors and there I'm not certain about what I'm going to do with that. This is the rest color of uh, old blonde. But for now I'm going to cover it up and I'll wait for about 25 minutes and watch what it does and afterwards I'll tell you what we did. So we're back. We uh, did about coloring about uh, 30 minutes. Then raise it out, put a silver toner over it, and what you see is that it's a nice cool color with a natural colors on it. What we use now is a fan fee of Goldwell that reduces the last uh, yellow tones of her hair. For the nail brush, look at the electric lockies there. Yeah, it's very nice. Use an ultra glow. Of best. Cleaning the contour line.
Okay, and this is my new hairstyle. Anders, hè? Ja. Heel leuk. Ook leuk die lijntjes te doen. Super mooi. Ik zie hem voor jou en de rest van de wereld te show the end result. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.